Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. 8x squared plus 21 equals a negative 59x, and we want to solve this by factoring. Hmm, let's bring everything over to the same side. I'm going to add a 59x to both sides here. That brings down my, well, 8x squared by itself, plus 59x, plus 21 equals 0. Hmm. This doesn't seem like it factors easily, so what am I going to do? I'm going to do this by grouping. 8 times 21, 8 times 21 is a positive 168. So I'm not going to go all through all the factors of 168, but I'm going to go through numbers that I know multiply to be 168 and see if two of them add to be 59. Well, obviously, 8 times 21 got me there, so 8 and 21. Well, that doesn't add to be 59. Hmm. Well, what about, does 3, 3 divisible by 168? And 3 does go into 168 56 times. And we add them together, 3 plus 56 is 59x. So I'm not going to go through the other factors. I just kind of spitballed some and got one on my second try. So now we're going to rewrite this, 8x squared, but instead of 59x, I'm going to write some combination of 3 and 56. 56x here, plus 3x, plus 21, equals 0. 56x plus 3x is 59x. Got it. So it's really the same equation. Now let's go pull out a common factor. 8x is in both of these parts here. So we pull out an 8x, and we're left with x here, plus, well, 7. Pull out a 3 here from both parts. 3 comes out. We have x, again, plus 7 equals 0. We see x plus 7 and then x plus 7. Pull that out. We have x plus 7 here. And we're left with that 8x being multiplied plus 3 right there. So now we've actually factored our equation. Well, since it's factored now, we can set both parts equal to 0. So x plus 7 equals 0 and 8x plus 3 equals 0. And we're going to solve for x on both of them. Subtract a 7 to both sides. x equals a negative 7. Subtract a 3 to both sides. We have 8x equals a negative 3. Divide both sides by 8. And x equals a negative 3, if I can write it, 8. And so we can combine them together to be one statement x equals a negative 7, and a negative 3 eighths, and that is, after all this work, our final answer. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minutemathtutor.com